Hey everybody, Don Dabney, Left Coast Classics. And if you follow my site at all, you know I love the European stuff and I definitely have a little sweet spot for British cars. I've had a lot of them. I personally own about three at the moment. But I buy a lot of, you know, Bentleys, Rolls Royces, vintage Jaguars, MGs, Austin Healy's, all of that. This particular car is really cool. It's been in the same family for decades and it's been uh, kind of restored a little bit as they went along. So like it's got beautiful leather that was probably done 20 years ago. So it's, it smells great. And it's got like a nice, just mild patina. So it's something that for me personally, I wouldn't redo the, the seating or anything. I think it's part of the charm of the car is it does have a nice patina, but it's not like totally worn out either. The headliner looks to be original. Maybe it was replaced at some point. It looks, uh, I mean, it looks like real mohair. And then the sunroof totally works. The uh, visors look to be totally original. All the door panels look totally original and are in good shape. And uh, like the rear seat was redone, but the side armrests are original. So it's just cool. It's got just the right amount of patina. So you get in it and it's got that kind of that smell, that scent to it, the strong leather. We're having a piece of carpet cut for the front for some reason when we bought it, the carpet wasn't in the front. So we're having a maroon piece cut for the front. I think if I were keeping it, I wouldn't restore the interior. I like it. Somebody may want to take it further, but the point is you don't have to. Um, the steering wheel is in terrific shape. Um, the engine had been rebuilt and I'll get more into all of that in the description but it's just a lovely old car and it's got the semi fours that are working. I noticed the one on the uh, passenger side is a little sticky, but the one on the right works reliably every time without an issue. And uh, just a really highly functional car that drives great. It spent years in storage and then the family uh, uh, took it out of storage, sent it over to our high-end British shop and just kind of had them completely go through it, check all the fluids, you know, do a proper cold start after a few years of not being driven and drives great. I've been driving it around town and it's got to be in the mid eighties today and the car's running cool and it shifts great. It brakes nice. It steers straight. It does have, um, it should have more proper tires. It's got like trailer tires on it or truck tires, I guess I should say, but uh, plenty of tread. They're fine. You can use them as is. Another cool, uh, another thing is you'll notice on the wheels that it's got brand new center caps, but I think it's supposed to have a spat type hubcap right behind that. So you'll see that that's something that the next owner might want to get. And we actually have a guy in town here, a, a world-class uh, uh, fabricator that can make those. So if somebody's worried about being able to find them, we do have a source where you, the guy can make them and he does, you know, show cars and they'll come out great. Anyway, let's fire this thing up and take it for a spin. So it will fire right up when it's cold. I just put it into start mode and uh, otherwise it's been running. So it's doing fine. I haven't tested the radio, so I'm going to, let's turn that on. And I always just sort of assume these don't work. Yeah, that one doesn't seem to be turning on. Let's uh, let that cook for a minute. Might have to warm up. If it turns on, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The clock's inoperable. The fuel gauge is working. The temperature gauge, amps, oil, all working. The car's showing 16,444 kilometers on it. And uh, the Speedo is working. So nice and functional, shifts great. And uh, I'm gonna go with the radio's probably not working. Anyway, let's take a spin.
right, so there you have it. There's tons of pictures on my website. Check them out. There's videos of the undercarriage. Well, that's part of this video. And just give me a call if you have any questions about this cool old Bentley. Let's get under this Bentley. You know, it's pretty uh, solid under here. See, it's got, definitely got some surface rust. The floors themselves are very, very solid. And uh, all in all, it should be a pretty easy restoration. All of the inner wells up here are solid. We don't see any filler inside of the fenders. The frame is very good. The only weak point it seems to have on both sides is got a little bit of degradation down here at this lower point where it probably just held water. So I think this piece right here up into there and over on this side, same thing. These cars were prone to rust over this amount of time. So that being all the rust there is on it is actually pretty impressive. You've got the rear muffler here has some holes in it. You can see right up in there. It still sounds fine, so it's... But there you go. It uh, should be a, a fairly easy restoration. And when you see the body, the body's very nice on it as well.